Hi, my name is Alex with Date Tech Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be answering a very, very critical question. Should an issue like your stories, your tasks, and your bugs, and even your epics for that matter, have a due date? A lot of you like to put due dates in your issues, and I want to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly on having due dates on your issues. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And most importantly, if you have any discussions or disagreements with what I'm going to be discussing in this video, let me know in the comment section below. I would love to hear your opinion. I would love to hear your thoughts on this matter. And hopefully we can help each other get to a better place. I come with my 12 years of experience in this domain and I have some strong opinions on due dates. I'm going to share them here with you, but just because I do this doesn't mean that this is the right answer. So if you have any comments that you want to let me know about, whether they're good or bad, the comment section down below is the place we want to have that conversation. So today we're actually not going to jump into Jira because this is more of a face to face type of conversation. So let's jump into it. But before we do, make sure you check out the links below because I have two products that I want you to be aware of. First, I got t-shirts. It's not a bug, it's a feature. It's one of my shirts. I have many, many other designs. Go check it out. Get one for yourself, get one of each, get one for your team, get one for your coworkers, support the channel, and check it out. Also, I now have paid trainings. So many of you have been asking about paid trainings. The information is in the description below. Let me set the stage, okay? So by default, in Jira, there is a field called due date. So this is an out of the box item that is available to you. It is not available by default in the ticket. You won't see it in your Jira issues. You have to go and to your screen and add the field. But assuming you have this field, is it a good idea to have it? Well, depending on your use case, depending on how you want to use Jira, this may benefit you or this may hurt you. I'm going to start off with the agile answer. I'm going to start looking at this from my Mike Cohn hat. If I put on my just pure agilism hat, then my answer is a strict no, because it defeats the purpose of, of Scrum and Agile, in my opinion. Because when you put a due date on an issue, specifically a story, a task, or a bug, it becomes irrelevant because the due date of an item is always the end of the sprint. So having a due date that is anything before the sprint's end, it makes adding the issue to a sprint kind of a moot point. The whole purpose is that you give the team autonomy, okay? autonomy being the key word here. You give them this autonomy to self-organize, to figure it out when and how they want to solve this problem. So by giving them a due date puts their developers in a very uncomfortable position where they now have to conform to this due date and shift things around, which then defeats the purpose of having the priorities and highest value added from the product owner. So your due date should be the end of the sprint and you don't need to add an extra field to highlight or indicate when something is due. The simple fact that you're going to finish this sprint in two weeks is should be good enough as a due date. So that's my agile answer. But now let's come back to reality a little bit because sometimes I feel like the folks that made agile or at least that enforce agile today, they might be a little disconnected with the millions and billions of dollars that are spent annually in these companies. And when your money's on the line, not having that little bit of control, not having that due date can make a project owner or some executive a little bit uneasy. And so by putting a due date, a simple just field, it gives those executives, it gives the holder of the purse a little bit more control to tame them so that they can feel better that at least someone's gonna try to finish this item by a specific date based on how important this particular issue is to that holder of the purse. And so from that perspective, adding the due dates can be helpful to communicate, but this does kind of break the purpose of being scrum. So if you're an agile scrum team, you do have to do the balance. Is it is your company preferring that you be a little bit more micromanaged in, in lieu of not doing agile correctly? Or is your company really embracing agile to, to the max? and should not be using the due dates. So that's kind of like the that second part of the, the perspective of why, why would you even consider the due dates. 
Now, from a technical perspective, I do have a good answer to should you use due dates. From a technical perspective, if you're using the roadmap or the advanced roadmap in Jira, you actually need to use the due date and the start date so that you can build the dates, the duration for that delivery. And if you don't have your start and due dates enabled, then you will not be able to use this functionality. But that does beg the question again, is laying issues out in a plan like this anti-agile? Because in my opinion, again, I'm CSM certified, but you really don't talk about due dates. You kind of have a roadmap and you have some expectation. You do have a North Star, but the chips tend to lay where they or fall where they fall, which is great from an Agile perspective because it gives you all that freedom. It gives you all those great things that, all those great values that Agile embraces. But from an owner, you got to consider this from the, I, this is my million dollars that you're spending here. From that perspective, it can be unsettling to just give total freedom to a team to then go manage themselves. And so I, in my experience over my last 12 year career here, I have seen that the owners of that budget tend to want to have a little bit more control. For that reason, you tend to find that teams push and enforce having a start and a due date, but specifically at least a due date, because then if you pass your due date, then consequences entail. And so while I personally do not like using due dates, I see the value for them because if I had a million dollars and I entrusted you with them, I would want to know how you're spending that million dollars and when I would expect certain things to be completed by. Now you do want to balance this out, right? Cause this does become very micromanagement and this is a dangerous territory to be in. I'm of the believer that if you entrust your team with the million dollars, they're going to do good by you. And they're going to do good by you because you hired good people, because you have good leaders, because you trust them. But the second that any of those are broken, then you might as well use your due dates because you're not going to have a high performance team. Your team's not going to be based on trust and they're just going to be there for the paycheck. And the second that you have a team that performs like that with that kind of a mentality, 100% use the due dates because they're just there for the paycheck. But if your team is really there for a mastery, for a purpose, for a mission, and they believe with you, and you as a leader, as the owner of that budget, empower them to do well, then the due date is going to be irrelevant because your team's going to take care of you. They're going to take care of them and they're going to take care of you and good things are going to happen overall. And you won't need this extra layer of comfort because the proof is going to be in the pudding. The team's going to perform to, if not above expectations without the micromanagement. So that's kind of my little soapbox for today. I don't know what you think about this. Are you using due dates? I know a lot of teams love this field. I know a lot of teams like to enforce it. And I know a lot of teams like to basically make sure that there's consequences if you miss a due date. But is this anti-agile? Is this anti-scrum? What do you think? What are your thoughts? What is your process? I'd love to hear. Let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, if you like this conversation, you don't maybe, you don't have to agree. So you don't have to hit the thumbs down if you don't agree. But if you enjoyed this type of video, if you enjoyed this type of a conversation, let me know with the thumbs up. Also, if you made it this far and you didn't subscribe, make sure you subscribe. And if you're trying to figure out how can I support the channel, make sure you check out the merch store below. Get your t-shirt, get one of each, get one for every one of your coworkers, get one of each for all your coworkers if you have that kind of money and appreciate you supporting the channel. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now.